This video is sponsored by me. Yes, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm doing that. Um, I have restock of Emily is Burning in my shop and the two jewel comics, the slow and all at once disappearance of Olivia Newbury and Wishing on a Star, which come together. And also we have a really cool print for my patron. If you guys want to grab this print and stickers and another print, then make sure to sign up before the beginning of August. And uh, yeah, so let's just hop right into the video, shall we? Uh, I really like Casey Golden's artwork. <laughs> I think most of us do. I decided, because on her Patreon, she has like the option to do like coloring in of her work. She does coloring pages. And um, I thought it would be a really cool idea to try and pick something to color in myself. And um, of course, being me, I didn't want to just take someone else's line work and color it in. I want to do something a little bit different with it. So I decided that I want to do and try some paper art today. Casey's art really speaks to being paper arty. So I thought what I would do is print out the three options that I thought would look really cool as paper art because of like the, the, uh, the opportunities to have depth or like to cut out things and like bring things forward. So I really like these two ideas, but I in the end decided to go with this house option because I thought it would be a really cool idea to kind of cut away bits of the house and see and draw like myself what the things inside. And I thought that would be a really fun idea and maybe we can like put this on a hinge and we can make this a room or something. But yeah, that's what I'm decided to do. So that is what's going on. So let's get going I think what I want to do first of all is cut out like the house completely from the background So I decided to try and use alcohol markers and obviously because I printed this out on watercolour paper it does smudge a little bit but I kind of like the effect so I'm going to go for it and see how it turns out. Me and Casey's styles are kind of different because I'm a bit more like all over the place and do whatever and she is very like careful and concise with her line making so I feel like to merge them together would be quite interesting. So I think I'm just gonna be a bit crazy with my, <laughs> I'm crazy, crazy with my coloring <clears throat> here. And I thought it'd be quite fun to try and uh, do that. Even though it will smudge a bit of the black, I think it adds a little something to it. I don't know. So let's try it out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm gonna do? Then I took my Artex alcohol markers and decided to try out and see what they would look like on this like little test piece that I cut out with the inks. Then just cutting out like little extra bits because I really wanted to be, I really wanted this to be precise as well even though um, you might not even be able to tell that at the end result. But I wanted to be all the cutouts like precise and it was fun to like cut it out. It's quite therapeutic and cathartic to just sit there and like cut out little pieces and it's something like quite patient and methodic about it so it's like a bit of med meditation for you so it's really fun to do so i like doing that i like all the cutting out of stuff i think that's what i originally like about paper art anyway is like thinking about how to construct this thing where it's going to look really interesting and it's like thinking about composition on like a different way like a different scale is really cool as well because you always think of composition as a flat thing so if you think about how you can add depth and how you could add into this thing building up at you it's like a different way of thinking about how to create art and I found it really fun I cut out um I cut out an extra roof from another printout and then I took out the the negative of that and I made like a little template for the paper that I want to put behind the roof so this is what I'm going to be drawing on instead of cutting it out and drawing on the back paper because I wanted to have a little bit of a different level from the background because there's going to be a background on that level and then another level and then another level so I just wanted to distinguish different levels maybe it doesn't come across so well in the end because I probably should have put like thicker bits of card in between each layer but I think it looks pretty cool just like a slight hint of depth 
So I painted the roof in my kind of messy style and I think it looks really cute. I really like Kate Casey's outline work. Um, I really admire her work and I think it's really cool and interesting and she always has like a really cool way of doing stuff where she just makes like this whole universe out and she has a really distinct style. So I think it was really fun and interesting to try and paint well, colour in something that she's done and uh, she has all these on her Patreon if you want to try it and give it a go yourself go check her Patreon out, I'll put it down in the description but yeah, it was just really fun, I was sticking to like the same colour scheme so I was only using about 6 or 7 different Artex pens so like that it would have some cohesion throughout the piece so I wasn't using any I use a brown in the end but I was trying to lean away from using like neutral colours and I was just trying to use a lot of pinks and blues, the kind of colours that I really like. So tried to make it a bit more me, if that makes sense, because I am taking somebody else's artwork. I'm just like, okay, let's help think how I could try to add my my spin on this. So just despite the um, 3D art stuff and uh, stuff like that, I wanted to make it seem a bit more like. I was doing something to it to add something to it, not just colouring somebody else's work. So it was really fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this like video. It's kind of a simple idea and I just, because I saw, like I said, Casey's work on Patreon because I'm a patron of hers and I just thought, you know what, I want to do that. That looks fun and it's a pretty chill video because you know how burnout be sometimes. So I think that it was just fun to relax and rely on somebody else. <laughs> somebody else's artwork a little bit but I really enjoyed the process of like cutting these bits up thinking about how it could fold out and things like that yeah it was fun I suggest doing this if you just want to have like a little chill project or you know you don't want to think too hard about your artwork you've got art block it's fun to take somebody else's art and just color it in it was really soothing and I think as well they have like those coloring books don't they for like meditation and things like that so it was a little bit like that um, you know, there's adult colouring books and it's like, okay, we don't need to be like, it's an adult colouring, like, we should just have colouring books for adults because, for anyone, because why not? Like, everybody can do art and it's just a nice, like, chilled, relaxed, relaxed thing to do, really, and I definitely enjoyed it. I added, like, the path here, I added a little extension to it so I can make it seem like it was, like, twisting away from the door. I wanted to add a little bit of like magical elements to this piece because I think that's something that Casey always does with her work. So this was like a little house and I believe she made this on a video but I can't really remember like the story behind it. I definitely watched it at the time but it's like a little farmhouse with little bits of like um, farm uh, growing out in the back in the vegetable patch so I thought like oh, I could do something along those lines. Or I could go completely different like I did. I decided to draw like something within the piece in the roof and it was going to be a dragon guarding its gold. I just thought that would be something like a little nod to how Casey always does stuff a little out of the box and I thought it was really cute. And yeah, you can see me here just sketching it out. I was just thinking, should I try and match um, Casey's line art or should I just try and do it how I would probably do it? And in the end, I went with like my quote unquote style. I mean, I try to make it fit a little bit in the same sense. So it's a bit cartoony and um, like that quirky, like illustrated style. And I think it fits quite nicely. The line work is a little thicker. So you can see that it's definitely somebody else's artwork within the artwork, artception. And yeah, it was really fun to make. And I just thought it looks really cute and you don't expect it when you're opening up the house because the house doesn't really look like it's gonna have a dragon inside. So I thought that could be the secret in the upstairs room and then I went along and I thought what could I do for the front of the house because I wanted to make it look like one of those doubles houses on the hinges, you know when you open the front and you have something inside. So I decided to make a little shop for the fruit and vegetables and I thought it'd be really cute like actually you think this is a little house? No, it's actually got a little shop for its farm at the back and then upstairs is a dragon garden gold. <laughs> it doesn't make sense but it doesn't have to. And then I went in with the background and I thought it looks quite cute. It's like kind of like on a hill maybe, this house by itself. And uh, yeah, that's it. I really think it looks kind of cute. And I'm just adding little details now, colouring in the shop and colouring little bits and pieces around the artwork. And that 
is it. That's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I found it really fun and I just enjoyed like using somebody else's line work. Obviously my stuff doesn't look quite the same as Casey's but I thought it was fun to like mesh our two styles together and I really enjoyed using and just crafting and just having fun with this one. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know down below if you did and also don't forget that if you want to colour in Casey's artwork you can. She has a lot of colouring pages on her Patreon if you want to like colour it in yourself then give it a go. I highly suggest it. It's very fun because our artwork is super cute and amazing so thanks again to my patrons for helping me do what I do and I will see you guys next time. Bye!